Hello everybody, this is Fino and today we're back with some more Space Tyrant. I love this game. It has turned out to be a blast and we are continuing our advancement on the sector and we are going to take down the Galactic Senate. So, they're advancing up here for a three star mission or we can come down here and continue our two star quests. I don't know how many we have to do. It looks like we need six. All right, so can we do a three-star quest? That's the question. We need to capture and hold specific planets. So it's like capture the flag in space. I can do that. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's equip our tattered cloak. We've got a new scepter, increased tyranny for capturing crystals. Or your commanders start with plus one power charge in combat. I actually think the crumbling is better. Let's do this. It's a three star mission. It's harder than anything we've ever done. The hardest. So, <laughs> let's see what we can make happen. I absolutely adore this game. I can't wait for some of the new factions to come out. All right. Capture and hold is a combat mission. This means neutrals won't ally with the Senate. So Senate fleets are more aggressive. Race to capture the cores somewhere in the middle of the map. Invade a core to begin the capture process. Remember, your fleet doesn't need to orbit a core for capturing to complete. Capture progress is displayed at the top of the screen. If you can capture two cores before the Senate does, you will win. All right. Capture and hold two of the cores. New card added. Will you draw the card now or place it into your deck? Plus five defense. Um, let's toss it into the deck. All right, so we need to make it to the middle, somewhere out there. We should grab Shocktopus though, right out the gate. I think that's the best move. So let's go get Shocktopus. Um, so hopefully we can actually do this. I didn't realize that we were, I forgot, frigates were not allowed here, so... We certainly have the advantage. Got a volley. Pew, 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 pew. That's right. Turn and focus and destroy. Pew. All right, there we go. Level two, out the gate. Bigger ship sizes. Let's invade. We need... Crushed it. So now we should get Shocktopus as well, which is going to give us our second fleet. This planet has a species of a gigantic proto-sentience native to it. How will you manage them? Have them toll the fields, become their god emperor, study them. Um, become their god. Yeah, I'm into that. Playing off elements of their of prophecy in the nascent region, you convince them that you are their deity. They will make an excellent shock troop. All right, so... Now we have these guys. I need something to be allowed to... All right, shipyard. And then we have enough money. do that which is gonna make that a better fleet and this a better fleet so let's head over to the doomed labs I know we need to put some pressure on but I feel pretty good right now um,
All right, that ship is mean. Take it out. Woohoo! All right, we did it. We took out Mr. Space Monkey. Shocktopus is now level two as well. We got ourselves a lab, and I'm feeling pretty good right now. Out the gate. Your advisor to determine the planet is good. Hack the planet. Using the raw resources and might of your empire, this planet has been improved with a special power. Digitize. Convert research into a card. That's kind of cool. Um... End turn. <laughs> Add four destroyers to a fleet? Dang. All right. Alright, so we don't have enough money to make shock to push this any better. So let's go wreck these guys. Maybe. Having those little guys is a bit of a, a bit of a struggle, I'd say. You don't realize how much you rely on a certain type of ship, even such a basic ship, until it's far too late. But we took out Mr. Rabbit Man. Boom. Let's invade this bad boy. We need at least higher than a four. Woohoo! We have conquered the asteroids. A high noble of this world took great offense to an offhand remark. To preserve their honor, they challenge you to a duel. Throw them in a pain booth. The screams of the noble serve as a warning to the others. You will not likely be challenged again. Good. We ain't having none of that. That we had before. Mm -mm. On a dilapidated space station, you find an ancient alien wearing a threadbare naval uniform. Given the number of medals on it, the alien has clearly seen countless campaigns in space. Tell tale of your exploits. Throw it in a pain booth. Tales of space sharks and planetary bombings invigorates the master, prompting many interesting tales of its own. You learn many things. Yeah, I do. Like, how to be the best. Alright, so. There's an interlink. So we need, all right, so this is a shipyard, good. We can only buy one though. Let's go take down another lab. So we're gonna keep this guy kind of on the outer.
Pew, pew, pew. Alright, we took down the front loader. Time to take out the back guys. We're gonna lose a ship, I think. Ugh, we lost a ship. It's so painful. Alright, but we won the day. We lost a ship, but we won the day. And that's really all that matters. Now he has a crazy large... Yes! The dice rules are with us. Your advisors have determined this planet is a good candidate for improvements. Hack the planet! Using the raw resources. Fourteen gold to get five quick. No, we're we're feeling the uh, the money. We haven't gotten a lot of money on this. Even though we really need some cash, get off my lawn! Bring it on, slick. Damn, they're focusing right on one of my ships, huh? Get wrecked. We did it. Your weakness offends me. Please don't space me. Bro, oh, you're getting space nerd. Ugh! There we go. Exploring. Nothing discovered. Alright, so we found an Omega Core. We're doing pretty well. They rebelled out of our prison, which is just uncalled for. So we should go, I think, tag the core. There's some money. Let's grab a carrier. We didn't have to battle, we just got a free planet, which is very nice. <clears throat> and then let's have these guys go claim the core. Oh wait, go back. Now invade it. Oh, we would have gotten it anyway. So we have one of the cores. More health for those guys. And then let's beef up the health on our core in case we do get any, uh, any baddies. <clears throat> oh, they're coming for us. S gotta go. 
Wow. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. Oh my god, what is happening? We're going down. We just got absolutely annihilated. What happens if you lose your main fleet? You start all over? Oh no! Oh. Ultra rich. We got to get the money. We found another core. Oh, he grabbed the same effect. <clears throat> so that's the first time we've lost our own sh our main ship. go huh I guess we take the role and play the card if we have to nothing discovered. And then let's give this guy a dreadnought. Which is going to allow him to actually do something. Buff up those guys. I think that's the end of our turn. Death ray them. Hopefully we can come back. We lost the core. But we have another core up here. We're now getting some actual money, which is going to also be very nice. Um, let's snag the core over here. One off from being able to get it. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, we have the ability to re-attack it. Which gives us the planet. So we have a core.
Gonna come take the asteroids. I think we should have specced up our... We should have specced up our thing a little bit better first, but... Uh, our ship's going down. Get wrecked, nerd. All right. Nothing tops the Megaton Punch. All right, so he's level three, which turns stone hair. So if you die, it doesn't look like you lose all of your perks. You still keep your level, which is very nice. Abandoning all pretense at sobriety, the ancient master stumbles drunkenly into your court, ranting about mighty Cordian fleet it once fought. How will you respond? On Spacebook? Throw it in the pain booth. Realizing you should have done this in the first place, you have the master thrown in the booth. It reveals a few more secrets before expiring. Good. Tech up. Yeah, let's do the regeneration for all ships. And... Put the Dreadnought in the back. Toss two carriers. And... Should we get a carrier? I think we should buy a carrier as well. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That's a solid little fleet right there. And then... This guy here... We'll just grab another... Just in case, you never know what's gonna happen. Oh, big force coming on in. They're coming for the core. All right, let's take out as cargo. Maybe. Oh, shizzle. Come on. Die, you son of a gun. Yes, we did it. Whew, that party was a train wreck. Five damage. Boom. All right, so we are in a little bit of 
Thank Ruckus. We don't want to fight them quite yet. But we have a very nice fleet right there. Let's... We don't need to be there, so let's actually... Three damage! And then Death Ray to hit Slick. Rebels, get up out of here. All right, so let's tech up. Gives us more health. Or an additional fighter. Let's grab the additional fighter. Um, let's invade this. Hopefully. There we go. That gives us the core. We can now use this as a shipyard to replace some of our fleet. We don't have a lot of money. But we have enough money. It's not a bad little fleet. It will easily be able to survive. I hope. Um, <clears throat> let's invade the barracks. There we go. Without warning, a wormhole-like anomaly appears in front of your fleet. You must quickly act to avoid disaster. Blast it! Hammering the anomaly at all angles with hard gamma rays, the fusion bolts cause it to disperse. Several exotic particles are collected from the remains. Yay, we got money! Grab four additional research. Grab some more money. End our turn. We didn't do as much crazy take over the galaxy kind of stuff that turn. But they came right to us as intended, which is beautiful. What do we got? Recall. All right, so let's tech up. Additional thrust causing more shots, <clears throat> more enemy shots to miss. Super dense alloys mixture in the armor for any hull breaches. Yeah, let's do the evasion. So, that's going to be a good little fight right there. It's going to be tough. Asteroids don't do anything. Um... All right. <clears throat> tactical volley, tactical volley. We're going to lose a ship. We lost <clears throat> a ship. That's that's okay. I'm not super concerned about losing a ship. Of 
Grab some additional credits. <clears throat> and then up here... I think we go to war. Let's do it. Let's do it, Slick. <clears throat> what do we got? Destroys all but a handful. Summons two temporary frigates if room. Alright, that's the best one here. Oh, they hit so hard. Lasers are so powerful. So powerful. Oh no. Oh, there's another core. Interesting. More bad guys coming on in. We captured a core. We're well on our way to capturing a second core. I think the best move is to just sit tight. It will take them too many turns to reach any of our cores, and if we can just keep the one core that we're currently sitting on, I think we'll win. Well, they destroyed that planet. All right, and now Shocktopus is also back. He's good to go. Might as well oppress this. Grab some more research. Rebuild our one ship that we need. End our turn. I think that's going to capture the core and give us the win. Let's see if I'm right about that. No, it did not. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, that should give us the win. Plus 40 starting tyranny. HMS Immaculate. Add one dreadnought to a fleet. Cool. Title earned, nothing. Credits earned, 2004. Damn, 12 turns. Boom. All right, where are you advancing, Mr. Senate? Hive worlds? Yep. Perfect. So the hive worlds are perfectly fine. Um, one volley on your frigates. Destroyers start with their first tech. That's pretty good. Plus 90 health. Um, let's grab that. Beautiful. So, I think next time we just tackle the two star because why not? We need to take this down anyway. Um, I think we're six when you win a battle. That's a pretty good artifact. What do we got here? Invigorating Scepter, Fleet Energies, 
charge 20% faster. Four research when you win a battle, so that's pretty good as well. Antimatter mine, reduce enemy fleet HP attack uh, HP by 20%. So that's pretty good all around. Allow siege reroll if main die is the lowest value, takes highest roll. Your ships enter combat with a standard shield. That's nice. Fill an entire fleet with destroyers. Last siege reroll. On capturing a planet, reduce enemy neighbor's defense by one. Permanently unlock the ability to build battleships. That's pretty good. And minus 10% ship cost. So I think getting the mithril embrace and getting the permanent battleship should be our next two objectives. And then we can kind of just fight off the weaker ones. Um, I also really want the plus four research when you win a battle is also going to be very good. So those are all plans for episodes to come. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Space Tyrant, please feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and come back very soon for some more Space Tyrant or anything else here on the channel. Thank you all very much. And as always, till the next video. Hello there. Thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you enjoyed the content here, why don't you watch something next over there on that little box? Or if you want to check out something new, why don't you check the recommended feed on right there? And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the video you just got done watching, why don't you bop that little ghost right below me on the face as hard as you can and hit the subscribe button. Thank you all very much for your continued support. And as always, till the next video.